Holy fuck. I just ran into a big problem. If you are going to get a short throw shifter, I do not recommend this at all, okay? I don't think it's safe, but I have to improvise because I'm not prepared for this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this coupling was the problem. If you guys look at it carefully, it's all beat up. It should not look like this. On the inside, there's the actual rubber pieces that kind of grips onto the focal point, which is this part. But since I couldn't get this off, I just broke all that shit off and now I took and now I got it off and now I can easily put this new one on but what I recommend before you start this project is to buy a new one online this is called I think a shifter socket coupling so make sure you order this before you do this project at all do not do what I'm doing do not do Allah do not do what I'm doing I'm gonna install this and see how it goes and at the end of this I'll talk about it a little bit and see what happens hopefully this is not fuck up my car let's get this okay what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today's gonna be pretty simple it's gonna be more like a performance mod today and i'm more excited when i do performance mods instead of like aesthetics i don't know why it's just what i like so what i'm gonna do is i got this box and i got this box this is a torque solution short throw shifter and this is just a shift knob so i already kind of opened it yesterday and <laughs> there are some problems because for this shift knob Things did not turn out right. My car is a six speed and this shift knob, up here if you can see it, it's a five speed. Not a big deal. I think my cousin has one where it shows nothing so I might ask him if he wants to trade. One thing I really like about this besides the color, obviously I chose this color because I wanted this color, is the fact that this is weighted. It's very, very heavy. Secondly, I think that another issue is that in this shift knob, there's no threads so i think what's what i have to do is i have to use my old shift knob right here inside there's like this rubber grommet that i might be able to screw on onto the new shifter <clears throat> let me show you guys what that looks like real quick it looks like this so as i was as i as i was saying this one doesn't screw into it so i'll figure it out later but of course, the only reason why I got a short throw shifter is to make my shifting a little faster. That's what short throw shifters are for because of the center of gravity right here, the focal point. It's a little bit higher. The stock one should be down here. I'll show, I'll do a comparison video when I do remove this one. Stay tuned for that. It's coming up. This project should take a couple hours, I think. You will have to get down under the car, so be ready to get dirty. Most of this will be inside the car, though. So let's get straight to it. I'm gonna show you guys the distance right now from the throw of my gear and then we'll go from there. See ya. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Thank you. Okay, check it. As I was saying, this is in neutral. So let's see the distance right now from this um, shift knob or shifter, I guess. So that's the starting point right there. Four and a half, I guess. Looks like four and a half. Let's try that again. Four and a half, five. Hopefully the short throw is about three. We'll figure it out when we get there. Stay tuned. All right, check it out. Let me show you guys what comes with the package. Got this. This is this is a shifter, and then you got all this other shit down here. I'm not sure what everything's called. You will need to reuse some of the old stuff. It's gonna be down here. We'll get to that when we get to it. But for now, let's start with the first step. First step is pretty simple. All you gotta do is pop this off. I already kind of popped it off a little bit. You just gotta grab it on the inside, pop it off like that. There should be a screw down here somewhere. Can't, can't see it right now, but when I get there, I'll show you guys. Once you get this off, then you need to unscrew all this. So let's take this off and then we'll get to this part. So I forgot to mention that this is already an aftermarket shift knob. So it's easier for me to take it off. If you have the OEM shifter shift knob, that one's kind of hard. When I first took that one off to put this one on, it was not easy work. But this one was easy. I just got to take this off. To make it easier, use a vice grip. I wouldn't recommend doing this without a paper towel or maybe a cardboard on top of this. But since I don't care about 
this anymore and then I don't mind just putting this metal to metal contact but always protect your shifter though in case you want to go back to this one day all right check this out so earlier I mentioned there's a screw down here which is right here I don't know if you can see it yeah you can see it I think you don't actually need to take it off so you're good don't worry about that so this next step is that now you're gonna pop this whole piece off it's already loose because I popped it off already but be careful because on the back there are some sensors connecting see that white one right there just don't yank it off carefully tug it out carefully tug it out and then um, pop off the clips pop off the clips let's go all right we good check it out just gotta take it all off now already popped off the clip in the back which is right here yeah just keep this on the side i guess i'm just gonna leave it down here okay so i do want to give you a heads up that you will need to take off all of this shit right here okay all of this this whole center console because you need to be able to be able to access those screws down there right there right down there just like this one so now we're gonna un uh, unscrew these after we unscrew that we can take off all this rubber booting and uh sound deafening shit right here so I'll just take all this off let's get to that right now okay i got the screws off now a little side note, make sure you keep everything organized because this is a very tedious job and a lot of little tedious part. I'm just gonna keep these right in the cup holder and I'm gonna throw all this shit down there, over there. I don't know how to take this off yet, but we'll get to there in next. So the next thing you wanna do is pop these little screws off. This one, I think there's a black one up here. And then you wanna undo these little plugs right here. These are just the same sensor as this. Little clip, just pop it off. There should be a couple of them. I think it's one, two, three, and I think this was the fourth. So three of them, you're gonna pop this off later. We'll get to that when we get to that. After this, you're gonna go into the back seat and we'll continue from there. I guess you don't need to go to the back seat for this, but you are gonna need to go back there anyway. So I'm just gonna be back here to show you how to do this next part. So this next part, you wanna take off this trimmer here. Take this off, it's gonna expose four screws, and then you wanna take off those screws. Okay, check out the screws. I don't know if you noticed, but what you wanna keep track of is that there are two servers in the middle and two black ones on the outside. I don't know if it matters, but I'm just gonna keep it like that. So try to keep it like that too. Because I don't know if these are universals for each other. Who knows though. You can try if you want. So like I said before. Just keep everything organized. I put these screws back here. Which, which are the screws that go in here. Once this is loose. Then you can pop this whole armrest off. Just like that. Let's keep it back here somewhere. Got a lot of shit. Got my bat for safety. Now we gotta pop off the ashtray. And then just take this whole ashtray off. I don't think you really need to. But I'm going to anyways. Let's keep it back here. So now we gotta go back to the front and pop off this trim right here. Let's get back to that. You can do it back here if you want, but I'm gonna go back to the front. My bad, I skipped a step. The reason why you pop off the ashtray, of course, is because you need to take this off. Once you take this off, there's a sensor back here. Just carefully unclip it so that way you can lift up this whole console. We're almost there. This is about halfway now. You're gonna take off this entire console, okay? Be ready for that. It's a little tricky, but we're gonna get to it. So just take off this clip and you're good back here. All right, to move this little trim, the best way to do it from what I just did is to you could get a little flathead and just go from underneath here. This is already loose. Don't expect this to be that easy, but don't expect it to be hard too, because it is pretty easy. Just take off the trim gently, lightly, carefully. Don't fuck anything up. Ah! And then throw it down there. <laughs> Let's go. We're almost there. Just got to take this shit off and we're good. Okay, one more thing I forgot to mention is that when you take off these screws right here, it's kind of hard to see. There's also two more back here too. One, two. I took off this one, but I did not take off this one yet. One thing I want to say, side note, is that I am doing this and I'm teaching this as I go. This is my first time doing this, so I might backtrack to a step that I already passed. And don't blame me. Just backtrack if you have to. Stay tuned. Thank you. All right, check it out, check it out, check it out. We got this off now. This part was a little tri tricky. The best way to do this from what I just tried out is that once is you want to get the armrest off first. I mean, not the armrest that so you break out. So the best way to do is push it back as far as you can back that way. 
lift up the front and it's easier if you kind of grab this and push it towards you so that way you have more leverage just be careful it's kind of flimsy so don't break it after you get this up and over the little um control knob here for the temperature then it's pretty easy so once you get it up and over and the e-brake is off oh shit i'm stuck but you get the picture once you get it up and over and the e-brake is out then it's a simple pull out <laughs> i didn't want to say that but this is kind of big so i'm just gonna put it in the back of my trunk now that's what she said too <laughs> anyways let's go and there you have it the big ones in the back of the trunk if you know what i mean wink wink let's go this is exposed now so we can continue from here next step is to take off all these bolts and then after that you will want to unplug this too or unclip it or whatever you want to call it uh, i guess we can just do it with our fingers whatever so let's do that first so i forgot to say that these are tens 10 millimeter like always in all the gdm cars and almost every single car in the world so just get that you will need a 12 later that's gonna be under the car and when we get down there i'll show you and at the end of the video i will mention all the tools you need it's not a lot simple stuff so let's go okay i got the four screws off now and i already popped this off on the side i'm just going to keep these right here between these little gaps in the seat oh shit. <laughs> so now you can take these off <clears throat> it's a little rubber boot start off with the gray metal piece ah. just gonna keep it down here with everything else take off this one and this one's oh my god this one's stuck okay let me figure this out and we'll get we'll continue okay so i figured it out it's not this right here <laughs> it's this whole thing right here I thought this was like two piece, but it's just one piece. Let's take up, pick up the whole thing like this. I don't think you need to remove anything here. All right, so just pick up the whole thing and pop it off, I guess. Okay, now I'm stuck again. Let me figure this out. Okay, so I figured it out. You just gotta ink it off. This is nothing. So you just gotta go bam and bam like that. We're good. So now that we got this part off, we gotta take off another boot. This one's pretty easy. Just grab around the corners back here and pick it up. So I'll start off with this one. Just like that. Oh. See, now you can see right through. That's the ground. And we will need to be down there later. So I'm assuming this is the same shit. Just you can get off with some muscles. Use your muscles for this shit. Ah, no muscles here. There you go. Light work. We'll fix it later. Who cares about this right now? It's rubber. It's going to go back to place anyways. Now you got to take off these three bolts. Should be 10 millimeter each. Let's do that now. Okay, one thing I want to mention that I'm on my last bolt now. And this thing is beginning to pop up. This little triangle gasket looking shit. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't think it's going to shoot up. But just be careful. Take your time with it okay so nothing popped off when i took off these three bolts i kept these one between the seat down here too they're different so it's pretty distinctive from um, these ones so you don't have to worry about it so now the next step is take this off i guess this one i don't think you're gonna be needing this anymore because it's gonna come with a different piece i'm not sure though let's just keep it here for now just keep it down here with everything else take this off this the next one is uh take this off i don't think you take the shifter off yet because you need to undo the bolt from the bottom so we'll figure this part out and then i'll get back to this uh oh see i missed a gear again this is why i fucking hate this shit that was embarrassing my car's not even on anyways i couldn't figure out what's going on so i think now it's time to go under the car take out that 12 mil and pop this off and then pop this off so now let's go under there jack everything up Put it on jack stand so we're safe and we'll go from there let's go all right we are now under the car so when you get down here this little rubber boot is going to be blocking this it's pretty easy to remove just flick it to the side and then it's going to expose the 12 up here the 12 mil is right there i don't know if you can see it it's kind of hard to see it wasn't that hard to take off so i mean break off so now that it's loose i'm just going to undo it and we're going to go back in the car and take out the shifter you can see it right there all right let's go damn finally 
Whew. One thing I will say is that the 12 mil took a while, so take your time with that. Be patient, okay? After you take it off, this thing is going to pop off because of the spring right here. When you're down there, you can't do anything about it because it's too quick and you're not even in the car. So you're going to hear this thing pop off. Don't be worried. Nothing happened. This is the exact position it fell off in. So as you can tell, it didn't shoot to the sky or anything like that. So now we're going to take all this off and we'll continue from there. Okay, as stated in the previous clip, this shit was not easy. It's not fun. I should have done this properly, but whatever. It's going to work now. So after you get this shit off, just take the extra grease and grease it around this part. The pivot point, the pivot point and the end link. If you don't have grease, then that's what you do. I just use the extra grease on this and greased it up. I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm improvising. I would suggest to go buy some lith lithium grease before you do this project too. Buy new coupling and buy a some, buy some lithium grease. Let's get this installed now. I'm tired, I'm stressed, and I'm pissed off. Let's go. All right, once you get this coupling back onto the new rod, then all you gotta do is reassemble. Put the spring in first and then put this in. I think the problem with this right now is that at the bottom, when you take off that 12 mil, like I said, this thing shoots up. So when the mil 12 millimeter is taken off, then this thing's gonna shoot up. So what I think I need to do is find my cousin or somebody to come help me to push this down while I go link up the 12 mil at the bottom real quick. And then we can continue from there. So you might need an extra pair of hands for this because I really don't know how I can bring this down to the bottom. Let me try it first and then if it doesn't work, I'll let you know what happens. Okay, quick little update. I was able to put this on without my cousin's help or somebody else's help. The 12 mil at the bottom, that was not easy to do by yourself. So if you have somebody, it's better. But if you don't, then it's okay. The only thing I would recommend is jack up the car a little higher because I don't have the car that high off the ground. So it was kind of compact. But I did it. So now let's continue with the rest. We gotta put the spring on now and then everything else will be good. Well, the spring is already on, Never mind. So we just gotta push this down, lock it up, and we're good to go. Fuck, man. I just fucked up again. So let's take this off. Take this off. What I forgot to do was put my stupid ass brown spacer down there first. You gotta put this first. And then you put the spring. And then you put the triangle one that comes with it, the new one. And then you're good to go. Fuck this shit, man. Down, let's go. Okay, so once this is done, you can drop your shifter in. This one does have a certain alignment, this little piece right here. Let me see, right there. Has to align with um this right here. You'll feel it, it won't fit unless you do it prop properly. So let's get that done. So once you align this correctly, you need to go back to your OEM one and put this right on top. The OEM one is a specific angle too. You might be thinking it's like this or like that, but no, it's this way. And how do you tell? Well, you can tell because on this side, there's like a little indentation or a bump right there. This side is nothing. So just make sure that this side is on the right because that's when you reverse when you got pushed down and go back. So just drop it down like that with this little bump right here on the right side. And then after you do that, get your new screws that come with the torque solution or whatever you have with the new shifter and just plug those in. Screw those into the three bolts, three holes. Let's get this started. I'm getting tired. I need to go. Well, I just need to finish. Since you're going to be using the new screws, you don't need the regular ones anymore, the OEM, which are these ones right here. Just keep it to the side or something. But this is kind of weird because I have two of these but then three of the washers. So let me figure out how this works and I'll show you guys. So I honestly don't have any idea what these ones are. Wait, hold up. No, 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 no. I'll get back to this. Fuck me, dude, shit. So I found out what these are. They go here at the end of the, <laughs> at the end of the rod. Oh shit. Oh my god, see this is why I do this. I do this so you guys can learn from my mistakes. So you put this at the end of the rod. Oh, come on, boy. Put this at the end of the rod. Or the shifter, whatever you want to call it. Just like that. All right, now let's continue. Fuck, finally this is on. So now that the screws are on or in or whatever, you just want to tighten, you just want to tighten it. These are not Phillips head or anything, so you need to go get an Allen wrench, Allen key, whatever. 
I think that might be an 8. Let's go find out. So it's going to be a 316. Whatever the fuck that is. So just tighten it up now. Okay, once everything is tight, it's time to go under the car now. And tighten up that 12 mil at the bottom. I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to show you guys that because you already know how it goes. Let's get it. Holy shit, finally we are done. Before you get excited though, make sure that you can go all to your gear, go into all of your gears and make sure and most importantly you make sure that you can um, go into reverse. So let's try it out. Oh shit. I feel the throw. It's a little shorter for sure. <laughs> Six gear right there. Down reverse. Wow, right, we good. Alright, I'm gonna put everything back. I'm not gonna show that. It's just basic reassembly. This video might be long already, so I'm just gonna do all this shit without showing you guys. Stay tuned for the finished product. All right, all right, all right. Check it out, everything's done. The only thing that is not done is that I haven't put on my new shift knob because like I said, I don't have the rubber that goes in there. So I could tie, not, tie it onto the little screw, the rod. So I'm just gonna use my aftermarket one for a little bit. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna put on my OEM one until I buy the rubber for this piece. I really like this one. Shit. I hope I get it soon. Now for the moment of truth. Let's see if this shit is actually short or not. Let's throw it into first first. Okay. It did go a little bit shorter, about four now instead of four and a half or five. It's kind of hard for the measurement because I'm holding the camera and shit, but you get the idea. It feels shorter for sure. I'll do a review of this after I drive it for a little bit and see what happens. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys all later. I'm done with this shit. Peace. All right, one last thing. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If this helped you, and then please subscribe also. Share it to anybody who's interested and put in a short throw. Learn from my mistakes, okay? And one more thing that I wanted to say was that, oh, if I forget anything in this video, check the description. I always, I always put stuff in the description, okay? See you guys later. Peace.